Okay guys, I went fishing recently and I caught a really flashy type of fish. It's called flash fish. I'm gonna open it up. It's a portable solar generator. Sounds fancy. So I haven't seen it yet. Oh look, it's so cute, it's so little. I needed one for the bedroom. This is gonna be perfect. It does have a little manual with it. Looks pretty simple. I like it when they're very simple and you know, not a whole encyclopedia of words. I'm all about simplicity. So you've got this one that goes into an outlet. This one goes to a cigarette lighter. Um, I will find out what this goes to and I will find out what this goes to. That looks like a light. Oh, like a reading light probably. Oh, that's good. That's exciting. Okay, let's open this up. It's so, it's so cute, it's so little, it's so light. I love how light it is. I like that they give you this diagram. Okay, you can plug in a fan, solar panels, a light, your tablet, your phone. I wanna see if it works. I've got the cigarette lighter right there. Oh, look at that. It's charging. Oh yeah. We're gonna put it up there so there's no accidents. Just let it charge up. Looks like it's already three quarters. I decided to turn on my generator and just get this thing charged quickly. It was charging, but I am very impatient, <laughs> apparently. And I want to try this out tonight. So I turned on my generator and now it's really charging fast. So I just plugged it in. I have this little, you know, thing you pull out. I never use this can tell it's all dusty from me driving and uh you know spending too much time in the desert but uh, i plugged it in with the ac adapter and it's almost there good morning everyone well i just wanted to show you how i have this set up in the bedroom like in my rv i have just this little kind of like a little nightstand area so this is so perfect it's so small and um, it fits perfect. It's light. I just, I, that's what I love about it. I love how small and light it is. Um, and it just works for the things that I need. So one of the things that I love about it is I could plug in my portable power pack. I have two of these. So actually I could plug them both in and also plug in my phone or my iPad. Right now I've got the light plugged in and my iPad plugged in. Um, this is already fully charged, so I can actually unplug that and, you know, again, plug in my phone, another power pack. Uh, this light, it I haven't found a way where it turns off and on, but um, you just pull it out, really. And it's more of a, a subtle light on this side and then more of a bright light on this. But I love the way that, you know, you can bend it every way you could read at night. Um, you could have it as a night light. I just you know, unplug it. So that's kind of nice. And then what I've noticed too, here, let me put it back in. There we go. With, one thing I've noticed is that when you have this charging, you cannot charge your devices at the same time. So it has to be one or the other. So last night I was uh, topping this off to get it fully charged. And I noticed that everything else turned off. Um, I have an electric toothbrush that plugs into there. So I was able to plug that in. Um, again, I have a portable little oven that I've never used. And I was able to put the adapter for, um, there's this one adapter and I'll show you, I'll, I'll hook that up, um, to where anything that requires like a cigarette lighter, um, uh, adapter or, um, what's it called, um, like an outlet for that, then you can plug that into that. And then on the back, you've got these AC output. So I have a, like I have a speaker, it's called a Alexa Echo, and I've never used it because I didn't have the, anything to plug into outside 
because I want to use it outside. I don't have anything to plug into out there. Um, so now I do. Now I can put this on the little table, have my speaker, and listen to, you know, music, audiobooks, whatever. So that's kind of nice. And yeah, this has just been really just convenient. It's a convenience. It really is to have this. And again, one of the best features about it that I like is just how light and portable it is. For me, that's what really, you know, helps. I've had others that are just heavy and bulky and I just don't move them, you know, because they're so heavy and bulky, you know, that's the thing. And when you're going camping, like, let's say you want to go sit outside or you're in your tent or, you know, you're just um, going to the beach, you know, by the water uh, and you want to have your speaker, you want to have, you know, your phone's about to die. Let's say your power pack's dead. You always have this as a backup. That's kind of nice. You know, in the nighttime when you're in your tent, you've got a light. It's just really nice it's a nice little convenient device i think and it's not you know you don't have to <laughs> fork out like tons and tons of money it's affordable so i i think it's really cool but that's just my opinion you know and that's what they asked me they asked me to review it and give my honest honest opinion so i would definitely suggest this for someone that um just needs something you know that's not huge, huge, uh, not heavy, like even your kids. I mean, like it's so light and, um, you know, you just don't need something that requires a lot of power, but just, you know, I mean, like I said, I charged up my electric toothbrush. You could have this in the bathroom, charge up, you know, devices. So that's the thing. It's so portable. It's so compact. It's so uh, versatile. So anyways, enough of that. I will show you how I have plugged in the portable oven. This is my portable oven that I bought. So what you could do is you can uh, heat up meals in there while you're driving. It plugs into the cigarette lighter. I never used it because I just never thought about it when I was driving. And I thought, oh, this is perfect. I can finally use this. So, like I said, it, it plugs into a cigarette lighter. So, they sent this adapter that you plug in there. And then you plug it into the front of this. Like that. And it's our, it's charging. It's... We'll give it a second but it shows dc output so now let's say i want to heat up something i'm not driving i'm sitting outside or i'm in the rv and i just want to warm something up then um i can put my food in the container that it needs to go to and i put it in here oh i can feel it won't get warm already there's this like there's this like hot plate so that's what's getting electricity this is hot plate and then you zip it up and it heats up your food and this is this is plenty of power to do that so that's nice that i can finally use that and even when you're in a sticks and bricks you know like let's say you don't want to microwave things and you don't have time to sit in front of the stove you want to jump in the shower. You want to heat up your breakfast. You want to heat up something, you know, to uh, eat along the way. Whatever. You're in a hurry. You want to, you know, you've got other things to do. You just plug it in. Let it do its thing. This is working for you. It's perfect. Um, let's see. Yeah, I want to turn that off. <laughs> it's, it's muy caliente. So unplug that. Unplug that. I'm just going to leave that plugged in because um, I don't really have a lot of devices that require this. In the old days, we called this the cigarette lighter. I don't know what they call it nowadays. Um, I guess DC. Yeah. So, and then again, when you're driving, you can still charge this. They give you this cord to put into your cigarette lighter 
and then on the back so you just plug that in so anytime you want to charge this you use the back part okay so they also give you an ac adapter and you plug that in there like that and then no rewind <laughs> rewind hey i'm learning this as you guys are so you plug it in there and then you plug it into the wall so it's got the ac and it's got the dc who doesn't love ac dc okay so we've got those and then i just you know one thing i noticed is oh and then you would turn that on to power it what I noticed is this light does get a little warm. So I personally would not keep this on all night long, especially if you have kids, you know, and you've got this in the kids room. Um, after a while, this does get warm. So I would definitely unplug that, but it's nice. It's convenient. It's not super like, you know, burning hot, but it, it gets warm. So I just wouldn't leave it on all night long. I love this. I'm going to use it even in the sticks and bricks. So this is something that even though I'm kind of transitioning and I won't be traveling as much, I still will travel here and there, but um, this I can take anywhere. I can even take it like in the car. And so let's say I want to go to the park. I want to go um, just really anywhere. I'm going to keep this, you know, either close to my bed or uh, in the car. So that's going to be nice to have with me. Again, it's so light. It's so portable. My other one, it's actually not technically mine my son gave it to me and I would probably give it back to him and so this one is mine <laughs> I have my very own but my my the other one that my son gave me it's so heavy that I can't take it everywhere you know it's just that's what I I keep saying that but that's what I love about this one it's just the convenience of just you know just picking it up I mean this thing weighs you know it's a little bit heavier than my purse just a little bit but um <laughs> <laughs> women you know you know how heavy those purses can get and the bigger they are the more stuff you put in there so keep your purses small and light and uh although it's a good workout so hey that's the other thing you could just do like it's like a little five, five pound weight you know <laughs> so many so many it's so versatile that's what i'm saying anyways they asked me to do just an honest review my honest opinion, they're not paying me. I don't have any, you know, like no commitments to them. So that's my honest review, guys. All right. All right. Have a blessed day. And I'm sure you'll see this being used in future videos. And I'm going to try to get a discount code if anyone's interested. In but everything will be in the description down below. And if you have any questions, just reach out and I'll be happy to answer them. Okay, bye guys.